As the clock counts down to the primary election on June 18th, the candidates are gearing up for their final efforts to win your vote. ABC 13's Rachel Tillipot joins us live from the Lynchburg Registrar Office. And Rachel, how's the race shaping up for the Ward 4 Lynchburg City Council seat? Kelsey, both Chris Feraldi and Peter Alexander tell me they're confident going into Tuesday and have a final message for voters before you hit the polls. The race is heating up in Ward 4 of Lynchburg City Council. Republican incumbent and current Vice Mayor Chris Feraldi is facing off against Peter Alexander. I'm excited to bring that platform back to the voters to say, I would like to serve you again. We need to get everybody together and going in the same direction to get the job done that the voters voters in for. Feraldi says his track record speaks for itself. Cut taxes, invest in law enforcement, bring jobs to the city, and make sure parents are prioritized. Alexander plans to focus on four main issues, public safety, schools, city spending, and taxes. Community here, Lynchburg, has a, 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 uh, one of the largest taxes in the entire state of Virginia. That needs to change. Peter Alexander is wrong for Lynchburg. The post proves that he doesn't understand service. The race highly contested with both taking shots at each other in campaign ads ahead of the primary. In a recent ad, Feraldi says Alexander is telling voters he was a cop during 9-11. There is an ad that your campaign's been recently running that says that there were certain things that might illustrate that he was a cop on 9-11. Can you speak to what was it that you were referring to in that ad? His campaign literature this entire time has said something to the effect of, for his valiant service with the NYPD, and his selfless bravery on 9-11. Can't trust him to tell the truth about his background, the full truth about his background. How can you trust him in City Hall? I asked Alexander about this. There's been an ad circulator, circulating around from your opponent saying that you were claiming to be a cop on 9-11 with NYPD. What is your response to this ad? It's ridiculous. I was, a, I was an auxiliary police officer during the 1980s in New York City. After that, after I moved to Lynchburg, I went and visited New York City. My, to see my sister, and that's when 9-11 occurred. I was there the next day working, utilizing my skills and also my, my training to help find survivors. Polls open Tuesday morning at 6 and close 7 that night. Remember, you must vote in your designated precinct, and if you don't know where that is, you can find it on the Virginia Department of Elections website. Live in Lynchburg, Rachel Tillipaw, ABC 13 News. Thank